Hello pandas! Today we're going to answer a question that can be a mystery for even the most experienced scrappers, the catalytic converter scrap price. Now you may have heard these are some pretty valuable scrap, but how much is a catalytic converter worth? And how do I find the true price for my catalytic converter? Well hold on to your butts because I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, now I want to cover some details on how to identify a catalytic converter, but I'll make it quick because I know many of you can spot them from a mile off. Pretty much every passenger vehicle on the road today will have one somewhere in their exhaust system. Some have one, some have two, and some have many smaller ones. They're basically all a cylinder made out of some pretty thick steel with some good welds and sometimes a heat shield. In my early scrapping days, I got incorrectly excited about all kinds of exhaust components that turned out to be resonators and mufflers, but what you're looking for is that honeycomb material inside there. That's what makes it valuable because it's loaded with platinum and platinum group metals like palladium and rhodium, which when heated by the exhaust, catalyze the oxidation and reduction reactions, changing nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and oxygen and carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide. Anyways, you can Google it the same as I can. The point is platinum group metals are worth money. The issue is that all cats are different and some of them have less good stuff than others. Aftermarket caps are much less valuable for this reason, same as some smaller domestic cars. The contents of the pre-cat directly off of the exhaust will be different than one further down the line, so their values will be quite different as well. It's going to come down to the mass and the yield of the honeycomb inside it, and that's why scrapyards have databases they can check before offering you a price. Now, you could have the most honest and fair scrapyard in the whole country, but let's be realistic. They're in business to make money. The less they can buy your cats for, the more profit they make, so you better believe they're going to offer you the lowest amount that they can get away with. That's true with every scrap metal, but the massive spread of values on these particular items obscures the truth, and that only works in their favor. They could offer you 25 bucks for a cat that's worth hundreds, and you would never know the difference. Wouldn't it be nice if we could check that very same database before going into bargain completely blind? Welcome friends to what I thought you'd be interested in. There's an app for that. A handful actually. Now it's pretty valuable information and nobody's gonna give it away for free, but a friend who works at a scrapyard turned me onto this one, EcoCat. If you want unlimited use, it's going to cost you 150 bucks a year, but they give you seven free searches to start you off and one free search per day thereafter. And they also have a pretty affordable pay as you go option. It's uh, 10 bucks gets you 20 additional searches. Let's try it out. So I couldn't find anything other than these numbers and those don't show up in searching their database, but I found some very similar ones that come from the same location on the vehicle and they all end up around the same price. They range from $70 to $200 and they average out about a hundred bucks. So if we get 40 or 50 bucks a piece for these, that'll be great. Obviously it would have been better if we could uh, find the exact model. Uh, that's just an unfortunate thing that happened to me in this example, but the database is massive and uh, it's free. Now a few key points otherwise this guide will be incomplete. I brought those cats into my buyer and they explained that oftentimes Nissans and sometimes Hondas will not even have a code stamped on the catalytic converter which is well one of the reasons why cats are such a mixed bag and no fault of the app. In addition, the prices shown here are averaged out from all of the most recent prices that item was purchased for and not the final scrap value. So if you bring it to your standard issue, like full service scrapyard, you're probably gonna get half of this. You could get paid close to the amount shown with this search, possibly even more, I'll explain how. You sell it to a scrapyard, and they sell it to a catalytic amalgamator, and they sell it to a refinery who will bear the cost of extracting the material inside to reclaim this final value. And none of these entities along the way are working for free. Shopping around and choosing the right buyer when it comes to cats is especially important because you want to get as close to selling direct to the refinery as possible. This app is apparently run by people who do exactly that, and I haven't tried selling through them, but it might be worth a shot. If you have a scrap buyer who specializes in catalytic converters, that might be your best bet. And if you don't, there are often cat specialists that travel around to all the smaller towns who can give you a better price. The problem there is there are many people who use this exact same app who advertise the best prices anywhere on online marketplaces who are no more connected than you yourself. 
so it will take some time to find the right buyer, and when you do, volume and loyalty are everything. If you only bring them two cats a year, you're not going to get as good a price as the person who's got 100 every month. Straight facts regardless of the scale of your operation. I hope this can help you make more money and be confident you're getting a fair price. There are a few details I left out, but sometimes less is more. If you want to help fill in those gaps, then please comment down below and let me know what I missed. Like and subscribe if this video was useful to you and you'd like to see more scrap metal money-making guides coming real soon. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.